Yeah, this, <clears throat> this is your apartment. It's raining outside. All right, cool. <laughs> um, how's everything going? I want to um do some mental exercises with you real quick. So um, the question that I have for you, and by the way, welcome, welcome to the video. Sit back, enjoy yourself. I like watching rain. It's relaxing. The question I have for you is, um, how do you know you? How do you know you? Do you know yourself? If I were to tell you, or not just me, anyone, your your your, your life partner, all this, when you get into arguments, whatever, does people tell you things about yourself that you don't know, but multiple people are saying it, and you're giving this defense mechanism up because you like that couldn't, I possibly couldn't have a bad attitude, or I possibly couldn't be this clumsy, or I possibly couldn't be immature, or blah 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 blah. This seems to be the problem with most um, human beings, including myself. We don't know who we are. You don't know who you are. And I'm not saying this in a bad way because I want to be really transparent with you, you know. But your awareness that you are a machine. And that you have no willpower. Well, you have willpower. That you have no no will and determination. Or let me let me stop. That you're not aware of your will and determination. It's sad. And that goes for me too. You say you can do whatever you want. That's true. But let me tell you how you limit yourself and how you deceive yourself. You're a machine. Again, like I've said, you're a machine. The first 12 years of your life created the core of your machine. And this is why you're an adult and you try to do something different outside of the stuff that you knew. And it's totally hard. And homeostasis kicks in and your ego stops you from doing stuff new. And on top of that, you're unaware that homeostasis comes in and kicks in and stops you from doing the things that you want. So again, who are you? Do you know who you are? Do you know your weaknesses? Do you know when homeostasis pops in? Do you realize your ego turns your unawareness down lower and lower and lower to continue to stay the way you are right now for the last 10, 20, 30 years. And the older you get, the more your ego is going to go into homeostasis and keep you the way you are. Have you ever tried to learn something new at 25 years old or 30 years old? Have you ever sat back and in awareness Listen to some of the thoughts that creep up into your mind because they subtly creep up with a sly of hand. That's the homeostasis. That's the ego. It wants you to survive the way you are right now. Now, that works in certain things to keep you who you are, keep you alive, survival purpose. But when you're trying to learn something new, homeostasis gets in the way. Your ego gets in the way. Your limitations get in the way. Things that you're unaware of about yourself gets in the way. Of course, that's in the way. You're not even shedding light on it. You're so unaware of who you are. You literally hate yourself sometimes. For an example. Think about the job that you have. Some of you guys have been in your job for 5, 10, 15 years. 
or the same type of jobs for 5, 10, 15 years, like with me. I've been somewhat of a truck driver most of my life. Me going to do something different outside of truck driving will require me to actually think. Now you're thinking, okay, what's wrong with thinking? Okay, let's go into that real quick. You don't think. 95% of what you do a day ain't thinking. And it might be more than that. You're literally speaking English, something you've been doing. So there's no thought that comes into that. That just comes off. All of your reactions are not thinking, they're reactions. There's a big difference. So your emotions, everything that you do on a daily basis, those are not thinking processes. Those are automatic homeostasis things that happen to keep you surviving. You going back and forth from your job, doing the same shit every week to get, collect that same 30, 40 K a year. It's not thinking. It's homeostasis. That's keeping you surviving. You picking up your phone, scrolling through social media. That's not thinking. That's reactions. That's homeostasis. What I'm trying to say is majority of your life ain't thinking. This is robot, robotic. And the sad part is you're unaware that you're being a robot. And you want to do new things in life. But robot mode kicks in. Unawareness on the sly of the hand. Homeostasis kicks in. And that thought or that thing that you want to do, you'll stop doing it about three or four days from now. How many times you try to pick up something new and in about a couple of weeks you put it down? That's homeostasis doing it. Your mind will come up with a whole bunch of flattering things to do to stop you from doing that so you can continue doing what you've been doing for the last five, ten years. And, and low key, you get pissed off at yourself when you do it. But it's not, you're not shedding light on when you get pissed off. So you're unaware that you're mad at yourself that you didn't do it. And you go straight back into robot mode. But when I say, if you shed awareness on your thoughts and your emotions and everything, that's thank you now. Because now you're using something else besides the robot mechanism. In awareness, you'll start being aware of when you go into homeostasis mode and try to stop what you're doing. In order to do something new, that's thinking. When you think you're doing something new, you're creating a new experience. And creating new experience is thinking. You going to work every day at the same job for the last 10 years, that's not thinking. You paying the same bills and still being behind years on and years on in, in a stagnant way, it's not thinking. You only getting 30K a year, but inflation keeps going up. And then you're not saving enough money. So after a while, you know, you're living paycheck to paycheck like everyone else is doing. It's not thinking. You limiting yourself to a job you know that ain't paying you enough. Not thinking. Think like just I'm I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say I'm doing any better than someone else. But I shine awareness on these things every day. So when you shine awareness on this, the mind has a strong drive to correct the issues. So my job here is to show you how robotic you are and how you're not thinking, period. Even when you think you're thinking, because your mind is telling you you think every day. But thinking is to do a new experience outside of the old experiences that you know, to do something new. So if you are going to work, a new experience is to go do a job in something you don't know how to do. Or a new experience is to find a way to get some financial freedom. 
so you can go and do the things you want to do, like vacations and taking your kids places to new experiences. That's thinking. Or uh, another powerful way of thinking is using new perspectives on old areas. Perspective is power. Now, we've been taught that it's a responsible, you're a responsible adult to get a job, get a house and pay bills. We were taught that that's responsibility. There's some new perspective. It's more responsible to get time freedom. So you don't have to go to a job. You can create your own money. And multiple streams of it. It's more responsible to own your own house and have enough money to deal with all of the the um, property taxes and all that other stuff. It's more responsible to have your car paid off. And it's and you're the owner. It's more responsibility for ownership. You going to a job and paying bills and being two or three paychecks from homeless, it's not responsibility. But we were taught that. We were taught that and we'll go through the struggle. We'll go through the, the jobs that we don't want to be at. We'll go through the fact that we're unhappy in the situation all in the name of something called responsibility. Which is really, if you look at it, it's not responsible. You're not responsible, you know, going to, that's not responsible to go to a job and you're just an inkling away of being homeless. It's not responsible to stay, think that you're going to sit at this job for 10, 20, 30 years and you're going to get a pension and the social security and that's going to help you for the rest of your life. That's the bare minimum. Ask some people that are doing it right now. Some of them return back to work. It's not responsible to not have a plan when you're 62 years old to have some type of income outside of the pension and the social security that's actually going to pay you because, I mean, honestly, if you go back to work, they take the pension away and the Social Security away. So it's not really meant for you to. It's like a salary cap that somebody else's somebody else's uh, plan is in your in, 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 in your hands. That's not responsibility. But we were taught that. See how robotic you are. And you'll listen to me and get upset with me. Don't get upset with me. I need more soldiers. I need more people that are thinking. You don't want 30 years to go by with this robotic mind of yours. And you deceiving yourself, telling yourself you thinking this whole time, but you're doing robot shit. You don't want to turn 60. And you quote unquote retire. And they give you that pension, that Social Security, and it ain't enough to deal with your bills. So you go back to work and they take this shit away from you. Now you got to work some more. You have to think 20, 30 years. You hear what I just said? What word did I just say? You have to think 20, 30 years from now when you start getting older. And when it's time to retire. And you're 62, and you ain't got no money in your account, your bank account. You didn't, you've been for 30 years. Doing this paycheck to paycheck thing and never got past it. And every 90% of Americans do it. Paycheck to paycheck. They turn 62. They ain't got no money in their account. They, they You get this pension, this Social Security, and it ain't enough money to deal with your bills. They're playing a sham on you. But see, you in robot mode. And you've been lying to yourself for 20, 30, 40 years thinking you're doing something responsible. But you realize at the end when it's too late, you should have, would have, could have. I need you to start thinking. I need you to start thinking. Time to start thinking. It's time to start getting your financial freedom. By any means necessary. You better learn how to trade. Stock market. Stuff that's going to appreciate in value. 
growth is needed. In order for there to be growth, you have to think. There's no growth in robot mode. Robot mode, you do the complaint, the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and expect some different results. That's insanity. Growth is thinking. Gaining new experiences is growth. Don't think these jobs are going to get you to where you're going to be. Look at the last generation and the generation before that. It's slim pickets of any of them that got to where they wanted to be with these jobs. And nowadays, man, shoot, these jobs trying to make you get COVID tests and all kind of, they got you in a corner because you didn't want to get your time freedom. You want to do the bare minimum and do what the rest of the robots are doing. Go to work because you didn't think there's another way around work. So here you are going to work and they totally convinced you that you need to take a shot. Not saying that the shot is wrong or right, but they knew that you had to go to work, so they used they 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 played a game on you and used the fact that you need to go to work to make you take a shot. Some of y'all didn't want to take that shot, but out of your own out of your own will, out of your own will, they made you take that shot anyway. Because they knew you needed to go back to work. Keep letting people play with your life. Or you can start thinking and getting a, some awareness and start doing this inner work and start getting your finances together. The choice is yours. Well, in robot mode, you think you are doing the right thing anyway. So, awareness, awareness, awareness. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> Guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.